Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crashing Sex, and I wanted to go over some of the upgrades I've done to my 2020 Lowrider S since I purchased it. Probably one of the first things I did to the bike when I got it was put heated grips on. Now we ride all the time out in West Texas and uh, it gets pretty damn cold. But we ride in all types of weather. We just won't ride uh, if it's been raining or you know if it's been snowing. But these things if you turn it high enough will punch through them, punch through your gloves and keep your hands warm on those trips. So they're well worth the money. The next thing I had done was I had the Salomon step-up seat added with the gel inserts. So uh, for longer rides, it sure is nice. Now that's not good for real long rides, but it'll uh, it'll go good three four hours before you start to start to tuck her out. But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it so far. One of the other modifications I put on was the Custom Dynamics uh, LED lights. Now these lights uh, pulsate for four seconds to catch the uh, the people behind you's attention so they don't rear end you. But uh, this is probably my one of my most favorite uh, upgrades is because when you uh, when you hit your brakes, those things pulsate really fast for four seconds and uh people definitely see it uh, also underneath the seats the control module and you can uh set it really for whatever you want from fast pulsating to slow all kinds of uh, uh different modes i think there's like 10. Uh, but anyway it's really nice okay one of the other mods i made was this sissy bar it's a quick detach and uh I used to let my girl ride on the back, so uh, definitely something to keep her on. But uh, I also had rear pegs, and I took them off because I just decided I didn't want her riding with, on the back with me anymore. Uh, but she has her own bike. She has a 2019 Lowrider. But this has been a really nice sissy bar. Uh, everything on the back is Harley except for this uh, sissy bar, and I think I got it from ebay with the quick detach and i think it was only like i don't know 140 150 bucks and then another uh, modification i made is i had this tbr two into one pipe put on it's the uh, tbr comp s1 or i'm sorry it's the tbr comp s and uh super nice uh, and i'll crank it up here in a minute let you hear it but <clears throat> my favorite one here is the upgrade i did was the screaming eagle 131 kit from the uh, factory 114 to now uh, 131 it's got all the badging uh, i had to change the uh the plate there from 114 to screaming eagle and then here's the front head uh stage four And on this side, it has a Screaming Eagle etched into the heads. I thought it might need to change the, uh, the clutch plates, but it comes, the Lowrider S comes actually with the Screaming Eagle clutch plate. So everything so far has been really good. And then I added this uh, Derby cover. I still have the 114 derby cover. I just like this one better. And then I, over my coil, Hardy came out with this new cover and I added it. And then I changed to Screaming Eagle plugs and uh, Screaming Eagle plug wires. And then when I had the kit upgraded, I was going through Hardy tires left and right, so I put these cruise techs on. Uh, the tread design's a lot different, and I think more uh, more tire actually hits the, uh, the pavement than it used to, because the ride's just a little bit different, but it's still good. But I had these cruise techs uh, 
tires put on them. They're made by Messler. Same with the back. So really, they're they're really new. I mean, just a couple of weeks old. And then it was tuned with a Screaming Eagle tuner. And uh, we all know the issue with that. You can't really get a good tune out of it. So right now, it went from uh, 88 horsepower with the uh, 114 to 130 horsepower with uh, 135 foot-pounds of torque. Now, I have ordered the uh, TTS tuner. The only problem is, is that you can't get one right now. Uh, I guess that problem with all the chips uh, when that factory burned down or wherever they get their chips, it's just really hard to get a tuner right now. So once I get a, once that TTS tuner comes in, hopefully it'll boost it. And uh, once it's tuned correctly, it'll boost it uh, to maybe 135 or 140 foot pounds of torque. We'll just have to wait and see. All the work was done by Wild West Harley Davidson by master technician Brendan Sanchez. He's actually the only one that I'll let work on this box. That dude is phenomenal. So if you ever guys ever need anything done and you're in the West Texas area, be sure to stop in. Talk to Brandon. Let them cats uh, fix it up for you. And when Brandon was doing the engine work, he also put on these Bitwell risers for me. Now the risers are eight and a half inches with a two inch pullback because I wanted a maximum height of 12 inches. So, eight and a half inch with a two inch pullback is giving me right at 12 inches. And it's a much more comfortable seating position as I can use uh, this backrest now. If everybody knows on the uh, Lowrider S, the seating position, you kind of had to lean over the tank because uh, the handlebars were on a four inch riser so you you leaned a little forward on the bike which was actually comfortable i had no problem with that but i wanted uh, something a little taller and a little more aggressive and it works perfectly with that seat so now i can take advantage of that that step up portion from my back other than that man that i think that's pretty much all i've done other than these these mirrors here I did those. So let me give it a crank for you and let you listen to it. She's a beast, guys. Anyway, like I said, that's my updates for 20, my 2020 Lowrider S. I still have the TTS tuner to do. And really, I believe that's all it is. We're going to start working on a new bike. 
we just uh, purchased uh, for my girlfriend the uh, 2022 lowrider st unfortunately there's not any in here but uh we have put the down payment on it and we're just waiting for the box to come in so we can finalize everything anyway if you guys have any questions please feel free to drop them in the comments and uh, i'll see you guys soon